got here is Instant Mold. It's a new product. It's a heat activated molding compound that is reusable and non-stick and probably one of the best things I've ever used for uh, do-it-yourself press molding. And how it works is you just add hot water mix my putty while that's softening up. Alright. Right. Softens up nicely. And you just press it firmly onto anything you want to make a mold of. that aside to cool while we make something else. Here I got one pre-made from a toy that had a nice brick pattern on it. Just take your putty, put your fingers a little bit because it'll stick to you, but it will not stick to the instant mold. instant results with a perfect copy of what you molded. After everything is cured, you just trim your base out very carefully. Lose a finger doing this. Hobbies are supposed to be fun. Clean up there. finished product. The best thing about this, you're done with that mold, you can either set it aside and keep it, or stick it back in the hot water, reheat it, use it somewhere else. And just for the minute to soften up, we'll show you something else. Alright? If you ever needed one or two more of a weapon, for your army and don't want to buy that whole other model to get it or feel like sculpting one for yourself or digging around your bit box, we'll try making a two part mold. So we'll just wrap the putty around the weapon. Make sure it's nice and snug. And let it sit in cool water for a few minutes to fully harden up. Want to trim away the excess, throw it back in the hot water, it remelts, you can reuse it. And very carefully, right around the center of the piece you cast, very carefully, use a really sharp blade. trim the original out of there. Drop the original. As you can see, that's a nice two-part cast. Alright, we'll just quickly show you how the, the two-part mold worked. Just, uh, Get your gray stuff or green stuff or whatever color stuff you like to use in there. No mold release necessary. It's non-stick. So far I haven't found anything that will stick to this stuff. Even super glue. So I guess if you get hard up for materials to mold in, just pour some super glue in there and have fun. Just get the uh, two halves of the mold line backed up and really hard press on that. Ideally we let this set fully, but you can see how just really quickly 
how well the half of the mold came out. You would just rubber band it or clamp it together, let it completely set. Then after a couple hours, you could demold it and safely trim around the edges, and then you got another sword.